Hey loves, Jay here with your March to April predictions for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. So let's tap into your collective spirit insights in which I'm hearing you need not to worry about anything. Take your time. Take time to yourself to recover from your losses, whatever you have just went through. Take some time to recover from that. Spirit is saying you're going to get it all back. You're going to get it all back, Aries. Okay. Some of you are getting engaged, getting married as well. Your life is about to change in, in a really beautiful way. That's what that seems. Change is the inevitable. It is neither good or bad. It is neutral depending on your perception. Okay. So we're going to get all your cards out. We'll clarify each of those for you. Messages for Aries. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Chariot, the Five of Wands, the Princess of Disc, the Hermit, the Star, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so let's get into this. Your overall energy is the Six of Swords. This lets me know you're going somewhere, leaving something behind, moving into a calmer energy. Some of you have had some either heartache physically or emotional heartache that has gone on there is a heaviness that I'm that I'm feeling here with this uh, six of six of swords energy so also make sure that you're getting checked out like check your health as well some of you are also upgrading consciously is what I'm hearing so it definitely feels like already this overall energy is a, is an energy of change you're having a change of heart in some sort of way but I definitely feel like you're thinking about things from a different perspective. You know that the change is inevitable and you know that things are uh, are looking different for you. And that could be good, bad or indifferent. It depends on how you see how you how you how you're viewing this. OK, so let's clarify this six of swords in your overall position. We have the Two of Pentacles coming out. We have the Four of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. As well as Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. I'm hearing get some sleep. <laughs> get some sleep, Aries. I've, you guys have been all over the place doing a lot of things. Even traveling for you as well. So some of you are, are also just moved. So you... I'm feeling like you are you may be feeling a little exhausted um, and I don't know why you know I don't know what the relocation was about for some of you it could have been pertaining to you leaving behind a loved one someone that you are in an intimate relationship with which is why I feel a little sadness or a little heaviness that could be coming up on the heart chakra that heartache as I said but there is um, there is this balancing act right now that you're trying to um, manage is what I'm hearing but again there's a lot of change that is has already happened in your life and there's more to come. And keep in mind that time is fluid, okay? And so don't get so caught up and I have to do it by this time, okay? Because that's adding more stress on your plate and you definitely don't want that, okay? This could be an opportunity for something new to, be coming in, to come into your life, like a new financial situation or a new job. Like I said, a new move, and some of you may have moved because maybe you have more money. Now you moved into a neighborhood that you really love. You've moved into a home or um, a home that you really love. It doesn't matter what the home is, whether it's an apartment or a, a house, a duplex. It doesn't matter. It just feels like something that there's a, there's been a change. There's been things that you've been juggling, responsibilities and all of that. So, But now this is going to be an opportunity for you to, Take a little bit of a break, Aries. Some of you have been going really hard. <laughs> and it's time for you to still the mind, get into a peaceful place, relax a little bit, kick your feet up. 
also meditation because maybe there are things that you're not seeing or hearing and you need more clarity around. But this is a time for you to regain your mental power because when your energy is engulfed in and being pulled in different directions, you forget about you. Okay, so this is an opportunity for you to begin to um, revisit your relationship with yourself. Okay, there's a lot of heart chakra energy here that I'm feeling because I'm looking at the Four of Swords. I'm looking at um, the woman in the window here holding her heart and then his hands are at his heart. So prayer, prayer too. So some of you are praying for something, praying for a change or praying for a better change. You know, like I said, it's neither bad or good it's neutral but it's how you see it so you're praying for something you're praying for things to sort of um, level out in and get grounded and yourself get grounded because there's so many things going on emotions going on a lot of things that you're in you're being pulled into in some sort of way and i just feel like the seven of wands if it, it almost feels like an exhausting energy like you guys are just working 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 and i feel like some of you are working on your mental clarity as well and that feels draining sometimes and we have to step away from that even sometimes because it's like i'm mean, stepping away from that is taking time to release re relax put the phone down turn the tv off read a book Okay, something so that you can escape and feel a sense of calm and peacefulness. So make sure that you're, you know, focused or watching good things, hanging around good people, good energy, because it just definitely feels like a lot that's going on um, here. Yeah, that seven of wands, this seven of wands energy feels like um, you're feeling challenged. Like you're you're overwhelmed and you're trying to overcome an obstacle, and it seems like it's it seems like it's a insurmountable task to reach. So I feel like you have to take a step back so that you can. I'm hearing rediscover, but you can change your perception about um, whatever this is that you've been focused on that feels challenging to you. Okay, so that's the overall energy. Lots of change that is happening in your life. An obstacle is the chariot that is here for you. It's like I'm picking it up. We're going to have to go on and slide this one out, baby. Okay. All right. So chariot energy is here. This definitely feels like moving, like going somewhere, but making, but moving forward. That's what I feel like. It's, it's like a natural progression of you not forcing anything, but definitely feels like um, hopefully there are no car issues that are happening for you, but that could be an obstacle that come up for you. Um, emotions I'm feeling could be coming up for you. Whatever this is, I feel like it's pushing you forward in a way, but you know, you may feel challenged by something, but what's life without challenge, right? Challenge, us feeling challenged is forces us to grow. So I feel like it is a growing period for you. And some of you are going to feel this energy of just wanting to um, stay in the same energy or you're comfortable not doing the work because the work is too hard. Um, this is an opportunity for you to move past that limited belief. Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. All right. Some of you may be challenged by um, maybe even a father energy. This could show up as mother energy for you as well. But someone, um, I'm hearing like someone being on you about you needing to make a change about something. And some of you don't want to hear that. Okay, your Aries, your you know, you're the you're the you're the babies, you're the zo baby of the zodiacs. Okay, you're and you just you want to have it your way, you want to do it your way, and you're like that very fiery, intense, spontaneous energy. You're like, I'm gonna do it like this, but it feels like there's this King of Pentacles is like someone that's trying to get you grounded, trying to get you to see something differently here. The Queen of Wands energy is here. Almost feels like you could be your parents, your guardians. It could be a boss energy here. But I definitely feel like with the Seven of Cups is like you have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of opportunities or you have a lot of choices to make. And I feel like 
these two energies could be mother and father could be they're trying to help you through something but some of you want to just do it your way <laughs> and that's okay that's 100 percent okay but you have to ask yourself if you found yourself in this position before has your way worked okay so this is the opportunity to receive the help because it definitely feels like you do have support but some of you that 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 ram energy you just like i'm just gonna i'm just gonna bulldoze my way through <laughs> through this and i'm gonna figure it out as i go okay but there are there's support that is there for you if you definitely need it but that definitely feels like a challenge for you to ask for help or to receive the help okay so where you're headed is the five of wands more challenging energy that could be coming up for you i'm going to pull some clarifiers around this but this could be a disagreement that could be coming up for you it feels like there's tension or conflict around something could be around you and a person this could be at work a fan a friend a family member or this could be your partner it doesn't matter how it's going to show up for you but this definitely feels like a competition okay let's see let's pull some clarifiers before i get into that because that could be friendly or it could be not so friendly why is the five of wands here We have the two of wands coming up. We have the king of cups and the king of swords. Oh my God, I just looked at him for a second and I was like, oh my God, he looks like Travis Kelsey. <laughs> I love Travis Kelsey, by the way. Anyway, that is my future ex-husband. Okay, so two of wands, king of cups, king of swords. So a lot of masculine energy here. Lots of masculine energy here. I'm still getting like this energy of like, don't tell me what to do. I'm going to do it my way, whatever this is. So, but the, you, I feel like you may be challenged. Either your intellect is challenged, your emotions are challenged. Um, because the king of cups and the king of swords, cups are about emotions. The, the swords are about intellect here. And it definitely feels like, I don't know, the two of wands makes me feel like you turn your back to someone because maybe they just have opinions that you don't resonate or align with. And again, at the end of the day, you just don't want to be told what to do. <laughs> and I'm, I'm feeling a very, this king of swords, there's a very stubborn energy coming from this person here. Um, but I definitely feel, I feel like it's almost like, is someone trying to control you? Is someone trying to control your every move? And you're just kind of like, I got to go. This Maybe this is why that Six of Swords came up initially of you relocating, going somewhere else, moving away from something that feels um, that feels heavy. It feels um, challenging. I guess that's the word that we're using. Your theme is challenging. Um, but definitely you're headed towards doing your own thing continually but i definitely feel like you could be bumping heads with someone during this time frame about where your life is going and how you want to live your life okay and i'm even feeling like an energy of you know some of you are wanting to relocate and maybe go to like another country or something and just this people are against it okay so it definitely feels like there's some sort of disagreement coming up with between you and someone don't know how that's going to play out but keep your cool Aries okay what's coming towards you is the princess of disc here <coughs> excuse me uh, I'm going to pull some cards around this and then we'll get into this energy why is the princess of disc here we have um, the nine of cups coming up for you the Prince of Cups and the Straight Cod. Okay. I feel like you're surrounded by. I feel like you're surrounded. I'm feeling that, like you're surrounded by good people or good people are coming into your life to give you some sort of security or stability in some way. Um, boost your confidence. That's what I'm feeling here. So. For some of you, you may have moved away and, and moved out of, you know, friend circles um, because they just didn't enhance your life. 
they didn't celebrate you in a way and and it definitely feels like what's coming towards you is a new group of people like this could be one or two people or this could be more than two people but it definitely feels like new energy that is definitely coming towards you that fulfills you that aligns with where you are in your life right now you see Aries some of you may be stuck on you know stuck on history with a person but you know you have to meet people where they are and they meet you where you are and there are phases in your lives where you sort of fall off and I feel like there has been a fall off <laughs> a falling off for some of you with your relationships and there's new energy that is coming in that's going to make you stronger, more confident, you know, help you build your courage and esteem. Um, I definitely feel like it's going to provide a lot of love and stability is what you're needing right now. Prince of Cups. So this could also just, like I said, it could be a person that's coming into your life. It could be a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. But I definitely feel like there is a fulfill, your feel, your, there's a fulfillment um, emotionally, spiritually with this person because the strain card is here. And this is all about mass. This is well, mastering your emotions, uh, of course. But this reminds me of you being patient and not forcing things. And now finally things are beginning to open up. The universe is opening up for you. That's what I'm feeling with this strain card. So what's coming towards you is new or new people or a new person that is coming in and this person is very loyal they're very um, what do I want to say they're supportive they're responsible they're dedicated they're very confident they're quiet um, but they I feel like they're they're nurturers they're helpers, healers, their artists. I just feel like they this person or these people expand your expand your life in a new direction because I do feel that new energy that is coming up for you that some of you have already been in out of you know it's been months and months for you guys of being in a very tumultuous energy and I feel like you've come out of that and now you're sort of changing the trajectory of your life which also it means changing the energies that are around you so you're changing your tribe what's happening in your near future is the hermit so some of you may decide to retreat 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 from something let me pull some cards around this why is the hermit here the ace of wands coming out reverse that's your energy So the Ace of Wands reversed, the Ten of Swords, and the Devil. Uh-oh. Capricorn energy here. And we have Gemini Aquarius Libra. Okay. So <laughs> this may be for some of you, if you have yet to experience this or you're still on your journey of releasing people from your life, I do feel like there's going to be something that you're letting go of like it almost feels like with the ace of wands you're like I'm bored of this and I'm moving on so this could be a relationship and these could be um, an intimate relationship or friendships that you're going to be retreating from and it could it's possible because you may feel backstabbed or betrayed in some sort of way and it feels like you are I'm feeling like you may have been blinded by the shiny object syndrome here with the devil like somebody may have pull a wool over your eyes and made you think that they were this person and they really weren't. Aries, um, Aries, I feel like you're getting yourself in this situation again. We, we just got out of this situation and it's like, you know, I, and this could be just the last of the people that you're letting go of as you're transitioning and making moves in your life here. But I definitely feel like um, there was betrayal, backstab, there was an addiction that you had that you're letting go of like you're just kind of like I'm over it now I don't really want it I'm moving on and it feels it, I feel like you're not even you're not even motivated anymore like uh, and it may be a temporary moment but I do feel like you know there's something that weighs you down or a person that weighs you down and you decide to retreat from them with the hermit here I feel like you begin to see like 
oh, I really see who this person is now. Now that I am working on myself, seeing clear, now I'm bringing in, you know, new energies into my life. Now I'm, now the others are falling off. Okay. So somebody or multiple people are going to be falling off with you again, because remember we had tension, strife, conflict, a disagreement coming up between you and someone. Okay. So the advice is the star is to always make sure that you put in yourself first to heal yourself. Okay. Pour into you. And I, I'm, I'm feeling uh, from the star energy, like a jealousy from someone that you has been in your life with a person or someone in your circle, someone close to you, there is a jealousy and envy in some sort of way where they don't want to see you shine. And I feel like this devil energy was, that wool being pulled over your eyes and some of you weren't even aware because they were giving you like, I'm a good person, I'm a good friend, I'm a good, you know, whatever this is, making it that you had a good time because you were in your moment of just like, let's do it, let's have fun, let's party, let's do this, let's do that. And this person is, or these people are always available for that. And then when you retreat and you see, you see the bigger picture of this, surprise the hangman hasn't come out. You see the big, bigger picture of this or you get bored of doing the same things and you're tired of like, no, nah, I don't want to go out and party no anymore. I don't want to go out and do this or that. You're like, mm, I'm going to move on. This is also an opportunity for you, Aries, to explore different aspects of yourself. So you're not finding yourselves continually in this pattern of choosing people who aren't good for you. Okay, so let's pull some cards around this star because it is, um, you know, there could be people that are around you in disguise that could either be hating, putting spells on you, like talking behind your back in some sort of way, not dimming your light. And this could be a battle for some of you. And this could be why you decide to take to retreat from them. And it may not be because of anything specific, but there's a feeling that you have like, let me take a step back because something feels a little off. That's what I'm feeling with that. Six of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Three of Wands. Whew. So there feels like there feels like there's an even given exchange in a relationship with someone, but then there's also tension as well. And I feel like I don't know if it's you or them. This is Three of Wands. It could be your energy. You're waiting for something different and you're waiting for something more. And there is more available to you, 100%. And remember at the beginning, your insight was you need not to worry about anything. Take time to yourself to recover from your losses. Remember that. Recover from your losses. You're going to get it all back. Okay? So this is saying this is a time with the star a time for you to heal and to pour into yourself. This is a renewal phase for you. So take advantage of that. And this is the reason why I'm feeling that hermit came right before the star. You take a step back, you retreat so that you can then heal yourself because you feel something may be off. So this is an opportunity for you to take advantage of the healing process that is happening for you. Um, this is you, the star is also like you needing a peace of mind um, and con connecting to you to a part of yourself that you may have lost. You have, may have lost in the shuffle with the people and the going out and the partying and all that. But this is time for you to renew, to really tune back in, to rebuild yourself, rejuvenate, heal, like I said. Bring in light and positivity into your life because that devil energy definitely didn't pull some stuff from you. Definitely pull some stuff from you. The nine of swords is here. Man, this really sucks because it's like it's the people. It's people that you're attracting or you have attracted into your life, Aries. And some of you are on the verge of letting them go. And some of you have already let it, let them go, but some of you are still feeling the effects, like their res residual energies of these people being in your life. And you're trying to recover from that at this time. And for some of you, it feels challenging. You're going to have to, you know, have to take back your energy and your power. Okay. So your final outcome is the nine of swords. And this is stress and worry and anxieties that are coming up for you. Um, and you 
lacking sleep and feeling exhausted and and it's because of all of the things that have been said and done and it's just your energy is just depleted okay so that is coming up for you and i know your birthday season is coming up next so it's like we gotta we gotta figure this out aries you gotta figure this out before it's time to celebrate you okay so we have the ace of pentacles four of wands which i like this energy now okay six of cups this is clarifying the nine of swords so i do feel like this energy is going to be clearing out for you and there's going to be new opportunities of growth new opportunities to grow your money to grow your friendships your relationships as well like i said four of wands energy is here at the beginning i said some of you are getting engage you're getting married but i do feel like a new energy that is coming in for you but it's like you have to let go of the residual someone from your past might be returning with the six of cups energy here pisces cancer scorpio and this may be someone that you may have dated or liked in the past or this could be a very close friend that you you you're rekindling um or there's a spark or a flame between the two of you and i feel like it creates a new opportunity for you to let go of the things that no longer appease you okay because some of you have a lot of this the anxiety and the worry about where is my life going am i ever going to be happy am i going to not ever am i going to get past these obstacles that i keep facing um <clears throat> this is definitely um definitely a challenge i'm going to say that definitely a challenge okay so if you are experiencing nightmares and the anxiety and fears insomnia that that come that's coming up for you it is like the universe trying to tell you about the devilish energy that is in your environment the people that you're with maybe even the thoughts that you're having as well but i do feel like there is a shift a new energy someone this person, the Six of Cups energy, this could also be memories and nostalgia or you having childhood, reliving childhood traumas or, or nightmares or something or there's something going on with your children in, in some way. I'm not, I can't pinpoint what that energy is, but it definitely feels like something that feels familiar or a person that feels familiar. Okay, so um this could also be someone who triggered you in the past who hurt you in the past that's returning for something six of swords okay you moved away from that for a reason remember we also pulled the six of swords at the beginning so maybe this could be someone that is helping you through a situation helping you open your eyes this could even be counseling for you as well okay so it could show up in many ways but i actually do want to pull a universal message for you see what's coming up all right universe what message do we have for aries please oh hold on I go where you go tell me are you finding that the occasional stranger has a crush on you okay so <laughs> hopefully this is not a soccer <laughs> that for words you've almost mind mindlessly chosen hearts broken too long begin to heal that eyes sometimes well up with tears when it's time to say goodbye remarkable our findings exactly your divinity is showing love the universe Okay, I go where you go. This is what the universe is saying. So where are you going? Where are you going, Aries? That is your reading. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If this resonates with you, like, comment, and share. Enjoy the rest of your month. And happy early birthdays to you, Aries. Many blessings to you guys. Love and light. Peace.